Hello viewers, how are you doing all? Once again, welcoming you all for AMC Kitchenet. And thank you, thanks a lot actually for viewing our last Facebook Live. And I'm glad that I received so many comments from all of you. So today we are here once again connecting with all of you. And the recipe what I'm going to show today is with the fish. So we have chosen a Spanish mackerel and we're going to make a fish gravy along with all of you. So you can sit and relax and watch how nice and easily we can make fish gravy using AMC products. So let's get started. As you all know that we preheat our products and today I'm going to use our Eurasia wok, beautiful pot, widely used from especially in India. Uh, yeah. Let me also use my audio term so I can use it until the roast to window. As you see, this is roast to window. Let me quickly, while it's heating up, marinate it the fish with a bit of a turmeric and chili powder. Please ensure while you buy fish, clean it thoroughly, remove all the unwanted things. Few people use both head and tail completely. You can, but I prefer not to use a head. So nice and clean, wash. Please ensure that all the water is removed so that it's fully managed. That's it, good. You can refrigerate the marinated one for a couple of hours before you start using it and uh, that's what I'm going to do now very quickly. I'll leave it aside and then I'm just waiting while I wait for my roast tomato to bake. I have lined up all the ingredients required for today's fish gravy. As you see that, I have onion tomato puree, tamarind puree, and chili powder, coriander powder, mustard seeds, curry leaves, fresh garlic, and just a spoon of oil. We in AMC always believe to use less oil and less water while cooking. That's one of the uniqueness what we have. As I was just referring to our AMC product, today I'm using uh, 24 cm in Eurasia wok, one of the widely used product and as we all know that in India wok is something you know which is most preferred product. It's a 2.8 liter capacity and um, it can be used for making any kind of gravies or you know um, uh, quick palayas, bhajis, uh, even for the semi-dried items, you can use it widely. Most common used product at Inames. Eurasia wok is also largely used for making it, uh, uh, Chinese recipes like you know noodles, fried rice, because it has the capacity, the shape, and its uniqueness helps us in filling all the ingredients within this. And that's the beauty of this product. And it can also be used for any kind of a deep fried items. For example, if you want to make vadas or uh, puris, it will be very, very useful for all of us. So, I'm almost about to come to the roaster window and it's, uh, I can show you the indicator. See, it's already beeping. And you can see here, very clearly, window, roaster window, and in my audio thumb. So, let me switch off my audio thumb. I'll put it back. Let me keep here, and then let's start our process. The part is fully heated up, so very quickly we'll go with one spoon of oil only. You can see this very clearly. That's one spoon of oil. Usually for the fish gravies, 
generally they use a lot of oil. But then we believe in minimizing the usage of oil. I'm just using a one spoon of mustard, as you see. Fresh garlic. It's good to use fresh garlic. Just add trim it. Close it for a sec. And let me get ready my onion. And before onion, I will also use curry leaves. Because curry leaves gives a very nice aroma for any kind of a gravy or semi dry item. Just quick, quickly give it a bit of you will get the fresh aroma of garlic. It's nice. Now I'll just use a couple of spoons of and you can take one big onion or two medium sized onions for this. I prefer to use this much Yeah, this is just have taken two medium sized onion pieces. Quickly toss it up. It's a very simple, light and simple recipe, which commonly made in many homes in India. And today's recipe, which I'm showing, is most commonly used in the south part of India. So, at AMC, we always say anything and everything what you cook, always try to cook it with the close to it. Because uh, it's important that that's also one of the uniqueness of this product. So, uh, give a quick sizzle. Okay. Again, very nice fragrance, honestly, viewers. Because whenever you use a fresh garlic, it helps us to boost our immunity while also gives a rich taste in cooking. So, as I show you, I'm going to use, I've taken three medium sized tomatoes and I've made a puree. We all know how to make a puree. Let's add the puree. Let's give a quick sauce. Give a quick sauce. And in the the rawness of tomato should evaporate out. Again, I'll close it for a sec. Yeah, just close it for a sec. And I'm just keeping my tamarind puree. Usually you get a fresh tamarind. We can just soak it in the water and take out all the tamarind juice out of it, keep it separately in a bowl, especially for the fish gravy. Um, tamarind and tomatoes are two ingredients which you know, really gives you the rich taste and tangy taste. And what I was being told from my mom or from my uh, grandparents, it's always whenever we make fish gravies like this, it's nice to eat the next day because the fish soaks the complete gravy and the next day gives an additional taste, a special taste. So usually at our homes, these are cooked in the evenings and next day morning for the breakfast or morning for the afternoon lunch are used. So, without wasting much time, I see it's almost ready. It's been cooked. See here. So before me going with uh, tamarind juice, I'm just using one spoon of chili powder. One and a half spoon of coriander powder. A fresh coriander, you can just make the powder at home or you also get the fresh ones. Give a quick swivel once again. And 
also allow the raw smell of the powder to just you know evaporate out so that yeah it's almost time now it's time for us to use good amount of hamlin juice Dear viewers, it will definitely be very tangy and to substitute a high amount of tanginess we have used the coriander powder and chili powder as you saw. This has to cook very well so I will just once again close and if you see if it's you know, uh, if the gra if your gravy is quite thick you can always use a bit of uh, water, half a cup of water. Will definitely be you know will substitute because it will definitely pull out. So I know the measurements, that's why I'm using. If not, please go ahead with a cup, half a cup of water will be really good enough. Yeah. I I I I can you know get the fragrance of this richness. Cool. Let me also add Three fourth spoon of uh, salt for the taste. We would also advise our customers to minimize the content of the salt always. Only the saying is in a day we should not use more than six grams of salt, but our Indian recipes always encourages us to use the salt. But then please feel free to use it according to your taste. Let's quickly close it and uh, let me give it a couple of seconds before you know, we open it and add the fish into this. So, you viewers, I'm, I'm, I hope you've been you know, observing that many times you, have, you would have also done in a very similar way uh, the fish gravies at your home. But only the best part of this is we are doing this with our own product today. And uh, I have to also tell all of you that you know, please follow us on our AIDS India page, on the YouTube, Facebook, and there are lots of exciting updates happening during these days. And these are the informations we would really like to bring it very close to you as early as possible and the best way to promote these informations are through these gateways so go to our websites go to our facebook page go to our youtube links go to our instas you'll find many informations there are many many recipes which are being promoted on youtube amc page so let's come back let's see here it's you see, you're having a nice boil. It's you know, boiling up almost. You can, and we can very quickly give a quick taste just to see if you are. Mmm, that's nice, tangy. Uh, since it's tangy, I would like I would like to go a bit more of salt. So that no, it gives perfect taste for us. Bit of more salt. Good. And now our fish is ready to go in this. Let's go ahead. Let me get my fish. Just place the fish nice and evenly inside. Usually, we should not play too much with the fish. We should allow it to sim by itself. So I'm just giving a small, very slight swell so that no, the fish is completely soaked with the gravy what we have made. And then, sim it completely so that it absorbs 
the complete gravy within that. So dear viewers, as you are seeing, how simple and easy is this kind of a gravy to make it? And as I informed you before, it's always nice to have this on the very next day. So if you can make it today evenings, any evenings, and have it in the morning with the breakfast, especially in the south, they prefer to have this with our idlis. The rice dumplings, I could say, but the idlis, it, is, it goes very well, the gravy is. So, dear viewers, my gravy is almost ready, I would say. Just, I'm just giving you a glass just very quickly. And, and with the fish, the good thing is, it cooks within no time. So, let me close complete my recipe with adding the coriander because we strongly believe in yes, that every recipe we make the final touch what coriander gives nothing else can give us so all done my gas is off now uh, and the rich fish gravy is absolutely ready for us to be served and if the fish gravy as I said can be served with hot hot rice it will be perfect so viewers thanks for watching this uh, beautiful video uh, and uh, thanks for giving your time for cooking along with us so my fish gravy is ready and it's always nice to taste it before you all it. So what I have done is I've already prepared the rice, which is ready. So let's plate it, plate it together, and let's see how does it taste. The beauty of using AMC product is even rice can be cooked very quickly within three to five minutes. So rice. With the fish gravy, perfect for your lunch. You see the richness of the gravy and this beautiful place. Wow, this is beautiful. Dear viewers, you must. And having rice and fish on a banana leaf also gives an added taste for the food by itself i can't wait so i have to taste and tell you how the fish and the gravy has come up so fish lovers you will be amazed when you cook this beautiful fish gravy and when you have it with a plain rice. Absolutely perfect. It will be loved by every family person at your home. So, enjoy this delicacy. I would like to end this with our philosophy of be better and live better. Stay safe. Stay strong. All the best. Thank you.